guys welcome back to my channel this is christian from christian's crafty adventures so today i'm going to show you how to make this super cute mini album that only uses one sheet of 12 by 12 this is just a belly band um and this is optional if you don't want to do this but this is what it looks like all decorated i'm going to show you the foundation of it and it's up to you how you want to embellish it but i'm going to show you where to score but this is when you open it up this is what it looks like. Um, I use the new collection from Simple Stories called Sunkissed or let me see. Summer Lovin' from Simple Stories. This is the collection and I got this from 3craftchicks.com. I'm going to put a link for everything down below for you. So when you open it up, this is a pocket and then I put some tags right here. And this is where you put a photo and you open it up like this and this side you open up and I just put flips on it this is another flip right here and this is another flip so you can put a lot of photos it's up to you how you want to do it this is another pocket and if you want to put a flip on here it's up to you this one is another flip on the left side another flip on here I just keep on adding flips on it and that is also an option but I will be showing you how to create the basic basic parts of it and then after you're done you just put your belly band just like this and the belly band obviously is optional and that is it. You're going to need one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. So let's get started. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Okay, so we're going to be using this Squeeze the Day collection. And I got this from Three Craft Chicks. This is a magical combo that they have in their store. I got this when I was in the retreat. And just message Michelle if it's not on the website. But this is what it has. And we're going to be decorating it because it's super summer. And we're going to be using this collection. So cute, so summery. It would be so perfect to use for this specific project. There's so many cut aparts. I think this would be so perfect. And also the combo has this one, which is no fuss. It's all of the cutouts, so you don't need a die cutting machine for it. You get the chips, you get the ephemera pieces. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So message Michelle. If she has this, if you are interested, they have epoxy, they have two sets of washi tape, all of this, another um, acrylic, another one that is like the um, sentiments, here's some more as part of the collection. So this is what we're going to be using. I think it's super appropriate for this project. Um, please send a message to Michelle if you're interested. I will put a link to her Instagram as well as to her Facebook so that you can see if this is available. So this is what we're going to be using today. Okay, my friend. So the first step, this is super, super easy. You're just going to need one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. And all you need is your scoreboard and your scoring tool. Let me get my favorite scoring tool. And you're going to need your scissors. So let's get started. So the first thing is you're going to score. This is the height is 12 and the width is 12. So this is your orientation. This is the top and this is the bottom. You're going to score it at 3 and 5, 8 is your first score mark. 3 and 5, 8, 4 inch. You're going to score at 8 and 8 and 1 fourth. I'm just scoring it two times. And then you're going to turn it one time counterclockwise and you're going to score it at three and you're going to score it at eight and seven eight right there okay so now so now this is done so we're going to put this away and then we're going to i'm going to score and burnish all of it off camera and then when i come back it's all done for us so my friend now everything is cored scored and burnished 
right there you're going to notice that there's the small partitions the one that's left over right there we're going to cut all those okay so let's start from the bottom we're going to be cutting those you're going to cut that right there and then you're going to cut the second score mark you're going to leave this score mark right here because we're going to use that to fold and that's going to be a pocket so you're going to cut the first you're going to cut on the first score mark and the last score mark and you're going to leave the second and the third untouched because that's going to be your pocket so i'm just going to make um see the pocket do not cut that because that's going to be your pocket and we're going to create some tick marks for your pocket. And this is what it's going to look like. Right there. And we're going to do the same thing over there. But in, on the top part, we're going to cut them. So this one you're going to retain because this is going to be your pocket right here. This one is going to fold just like that. Okay. But this one, I'm turning over. You are going to remove this portion you are actually taking it off so I'm cutting it away so the top part you cut away the bottom part you leave so that it becomes the side pocket okay it's gonna be the side pocket for your um, for your page so see I'm removing this part okay so this one is this one and then, oh, I forgot. We're going to get our score, our scoring tool again because we're going to score this at half an inch. So this one you're going to fold because you're only scoring on here. Let me cut this properly. Okay. So this is the top and this is the bottom. Right there. You're going to score here half an inch. So I'm going to fold this right here. I'm going to fold it right here. I'm going to fold and you're going to score it at half an inch. Right there. And that's going to serve as your... This is what it's... This part. This is what serves as that portion. Right there. It closes up your album. So you... Score that. So what happens is... What happens is, this is the first thing you fold. This one you attach right there. This one is your second one. And you fold it like so. This is your third. And you fold it like so. And this is your last one. What I did right here is I used a cut apart and I covered it with this one. Just so. You can do that as well. This is where you use your cut aparts. I did like a 4x6 cut apart and I just adjusted it. I put a pocket right here using a cut apart. This is also a cut apart from the collection. Same as this one. So that's how I, I added it. See? Just using flips. This is a pocket. This is another 4x4 four, four four cut apart. And then I added the tabs right there. And then this is where the tags are and then I closed it and I used a belly band but essentially this is the foundation of this piece so what you do is you just add a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and show you give me a second let me cut all the stuff okay my friend so what I did is I pre-measured for you so pretty much what you need to put all of the bells and whistles you're gonna need nine sheets of four by six and one sheet of three by four and I'm going to show you all the measurements. So pretty much this is 4 by 6 as your cover. And this is 4, 4 by 7, 8 right there. And then this, this layer is 4 and 3 fourths. And this pocket is 5 inches. This is 5 by 4. And you're going to score it at half an inch on the left, the right, and the bottom to make a pocket. And that's right there. And if you want to create your own, that's absolutely fine. But I'm just teaching you how I did mine. And then this one is a 3 by 4 cut apart. And this is a 4 
a four by five and three fourths right there and then when you open it up this is a four by five and three fourths at the four inch mark you're going to score at three eighths of an inch and this is another another thing that you can open just like this so you can put extra photos right there i'm gonna put it right there i just i just don't want to get lost because there's so many parts but again all these i'm telling you is optional if you don't want to follow this and make up your own that is absolutely fine but for some people who want to do the exact measurement as i did this is how i did it and this one is five and three fourths by three and three fourths same for this one five and three fourths by three and three fourths and then when you open it up you have this one which is six inches by three and three fourths and on the six inch mark you're going to score it at one eighth of an inch to create a flip just like that this one and then i'm going to paper clip it again and then this one i opted not to decorate it this one became the pocket and i'm going to adhere it there so this is what it looks like this is the first thing that you're going to flip first second third and fourth on the top and then the belly band i've created the belly band for you and this is three um three inches by 12 and you're going to score it at the 12 in inch mark you're going to score it at three and a half three and seven eight eight inches eight and one eight and eight and five eight just like that and then you create your belly band that fits perfectly and this is a perfect kind of very um, super easy to create um, traveler's notebook or not a mini album pretty much so what you need is one sheet of 12 by 12 for the base and then for the four by six you can get six four by sixes in one 12 by 12 so essentially you're going to be needing about three or four um, 12 by 12 paper for this specific project so i hope that helps i'm going to put everything in the description box below for you but when it comes to the measurement you just have to repeat the video when it comes to which one is four by seven eight four by five and three fourths because i don't know how to describe that um but i will be putting all of the score marks and um all of like how many of this you need how many four by seven eight you're gonna need and everything so i'm gonna do my best to explain it in the description box but i hope um, you take the time to review the video because it's hard to explain it's hard to explain in the description um, but i hope this helps we're going to be creating some more of these because they're so addicting to make i'm so so excited to decorate it so let's decorate it hyperlapse let's go <music> Okay guys, I I tried to film how I decorated it, but it didn't film properly, whatever, anywho. So this is the finished product. I just used the chipboard and then like all the stuff in the kit. So this is how it looks like. And then I added more chips inside right there. And then when you open it, this is cute because you can add... You can slip photos inside right here. You know what I mean? You can slip a photo in there. And this one also. These are all like decorative. The, the 
the heart the hearts are meant to do that so you can rearrange it however you like and make it pretty and everything and then this is a pocket so you can put like if you're doing travel you can put memorabilia in there and this one also everything that's in here is supposed to be a pocket so this is supposed to be a pocket too i guess i closed this up which I shouldn't have done, but supposed to put a photo in there. This is also a pocket. The fruits, the fruits are made to be, be pockets. Same as in here. So this is the left portion. Decorated with some Bella Pops. Lots and lots of space for photos, journaling and everything. Space for pocket. Right there to insert some photos. So this is an op open to so you can insert photos right there. So you close it like this, close it like this. This one I don't think is a pocket because it's a Bella Pop. So you can insert a photo right there or some journaling would be appropriate. So that's the left side. This is the center. This is what it looks like right here. I showed you this already. And then the fruits are made like pockets and then this is an extra pocket for more memorabilia when you open this up right there it's made too if you wanted to you know okay it's supposed to hold but if it doesn't that's fine so you can put a photo there if you wanted to. It's just a little bit bigger than the screen. This one is also a pocket to store some stuff. Right there you can insert your photo. And then you can insert your photo in here. Right there. Same as here. Everything is supposed to be able to like get some tags, be able to take in tags and such. So this one folds like that. This one folds like that. This one folds like this. And obviously if you want to add more flips, that is up to you. But I just showed you the basic construction. This one, close it like this. And then you insert it into the belly band. And that is done. This is the decorated part of it. And this is our end product. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know in the description box below um, if you have any questions or comments. Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys.